that old. I'm glad I didn't leave New York. I had a feeling you'd contact me. Do we have some unfinished business between us? You know what I want. I've honored our contract, so send Pinocchio home. <laughs> Pinocchio's just fine. What are you worried about, Doctor? Don't you trust me? You have to trust me. You have no other choice. <laughs> Sit down. Try to learn how to relax. Why can't we let our hair down and get better acquainted? Believe me, I would never want you to be my enemy. That would make me very sad. The dream of my life would be fulfilled if I could just work alongside the great Dr. Blackjack. I admire you very much. I can't say the same. Not after seeing the results of your fiendish experimentations on humans. I discovered this growing on Nicholas Doris's pituitary gland. It's a new breed of virus. We couldn't find it. I found it almost by accident, on the interior wall of the pituitary. So then it is the virus that's causing the Moira disease. I knew it. Now it's time for you to sit down and tell me everything you've been holding out on me, Joe Carroll. Where does this virus come from? I think you know. The files mention something called Indorf A, and I'm pretty sure you can tell me what that is, too. My congratulations on your discoveries. You can start explaining any time now. Endorf A is a revolutionary new drug, Doctor. It's a drug? That's right. It's something I've created myself. I've spent my entire adult life developing it. Drink your wine while the temperature's right. Endorf A. It stimulates double the normal secretion of the brain hormone endorphin. And here, we have the new, improved, concentrated Endorphe. This version is ten times as powerful as the original formula. So it was your drug that produced the superhumans! And our proving ground was at the Olympics. It was a triumph I'll never forget. I selected common, ordinary subjects with below average talents, and turned them into world heroes. Your subjects were humans, not just objects for you to play with! You haven't heard any of them complain, have you? They were extremely well compensated for their cooperation. We not only made them rich beyond all their dreams, we took a bunch of nobodies and turned them into international celebrities. How many of these lucky people were there? We started with 20 volunteers. As the program developed, the results were so exciting that word began to spread. Volunteers showed up demanding to be accepted. We wound up with 153. From the beginning of time, there's never been a shortage of people who wanted to be rich and famous. And what about now? Even though information is woefully inadequate, we know of more than 1,200 people listed as superhumans. I swear, we treated exactly 153 of them. We don't know where the others came from. We don't know anything about them. When the side effects began showing up, we panicked. Every vital organ started failing. The whole thing had us baffled. We couldn't find a way to combat it. And it never occurred to you that the dream drug you were so proud of was actually a virus? What's worse, the disease you created is contagious! Doesn't it mean anything all to you that these people are dying hideously because of you? The unsuspecting ones who didn't even volunteer to become infected, have you ever even given a thought to them? Well, what do you have to say for yourself? The virus shouldn't be called Moira. It should be called Joe Carroll Brain! And yet it still might be made into a blessing. If we got rid of the side effects, Endorf A could be the greatest thing that ever happened to mankind. Every man, woman, and child on the Earth would give a fortune for such a drug. <sighs> You're insane! <sighs> you and I have both been affected. The Endorphe that was in the wine will kill us, unless you work with me to discover the cure. 
I've always known we were destined to work together. By the way, this is the new concentrated formula. It works fast, so we don't have a lot of time. Okay, asking somebody how long they've believed in Santa Claus is so stupid, you can't even consider it a topic suitable for idle conversation. But if you still want to know how long I've believed in some old fat guy who wears a funky red suit, I can tell you this. I never believed in him. Ever. The Santa that showed up at my kindergarten Christmas festival? I knew he was fake. And I never saw mommy kissing Santa or anything. But I have to say that, even as a little kid, I knew better than to believe in some old man that only worked one day a year. Now, having said that, it wasn't until I got older that I realized aliens, time travelers, ghosts, monsters, espers, evil syndicates, and the anime slash manga slash fantasy folk heroes that fight with these evil syndicates were also fake. Okay, well I guess I always knew these things were bogus, I just didn't want to admit it. All I ever wanted was for aliens, time travelers, ghosts, monsters, espers, evil syndicates, and the hero that fought them to just appear and say, hey. Fortunately, reality is a hard road indeed. Yep, you gotta admit, the laws of physics definitely puts a damper on things. I even stopped watching those TV shows about aliens and ghosts and stuff. Aliens, time travelers, espers, of course they don't exist. But a little part of me wishes that they did. I guess I've grown up and realized that I can think about those things and still accept reality. But by the time I got out of junior high, I pretty much outgrew that kind of stuff. And I guess I got used to the idea of living in an ordinary nice world. Nice to meet everyone. I and hope just we like all have that, a good year I was together. in high school. That's when I met her. I'm Haruhi Suzumiya from East Junior High. First off, I'm not interested in ordinary people. But if any of you are aliens, time travelers, or espers, please come see me. That is all. Is that supposed to be funny? There stood before me this amazingly beautiful girl. Uh, uh, uh. Apparently we're changing seats. I picked a number out of a cookie tin that gave me the seat next to the window. Second from the back. An awesome seat if I may say so myself. Farewell, Hari. Forever. Coincidence? Hey, I heard you checked out all the clubs at school. Give me a heads up if you know any interesting ones, okay? Absolutely none. An instant reply. Absolutely none. It seems she likes to use the word absolutely a lot. I thought things would get a little better when I got into high school, but it's the same here as it's been throughout all these mandatory school years. Maybe I'm just in the wrong school. I sort of wonder what her criteria are. There was a club called the Mystery Research Club. Yeah? How was that? It was hilarious. They told me they've never had anything they could even remotely call a case. And the members were a bunch of mystery novelist otaku. Definitely not master detectives. Wow, that figures. Yeah, well, I had high hopes for the Supernatural Phenomenon Research Club, too. But that thing was just a bunch of occult freaks. What do you think of it? I don't think about it. Oh, man, I'm so bored. With all these clubs, you'd think there'd be a couple of strange cool ones out there. Listen, you can't help it if there aren't any. Besides, us normal human types, we gotta be happy with what we're given, you know what I'm saying? You can look at it this way. People who don't like what they've got are the same people who invent things and make discoveries in advanced civilizations. They made airplanes because they wanted to fly, and they made cars and trains simply because they wanted to go from place to place. It's as simple as that. The only reason we've got all these things we have now is because a certain group of people got together and used their talents, their imagination, or genius, or whatever to make it all possible. Ordinary people are probably better off living their ordinary little lives in an ordinary manner. Shut up! Hmm? <clears throat> Perhaps it was this conversation that sparked the idea. It happened suddenly. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with you? I got an idea! About what? I can't believe I didn't realize it before! It's so obvious! What is? If it doesn't exist, I should just make it myself! Make what yourself? Make a club! Uh... I hear you, but you gotta calm down, alright? What's with you? This is what we're talking about! You should be happier about this development! Well, we're in the middle of class. 